Hey guys, it's Michelle with Sweet Pea Farm NY and today I am talking to you guys about how to be a homesteading mom with little kids. I wanted to do this collaboration with several other amazing YouTubing homesteading moms because the question I get asked the very most is how do you do it all? A lot of people are so curious as to how I get things done and I have a garden and I have the sheep and I have little kids. And the reality is that I do everything just like everyone else does. I cross my fingers and hope for the best. My biggest tip for successfully homesteading with small children is to try and establish a routine and at the same time be able to completely roll with the punches because anytime you're dealing with little kids, everybody I knows that no matter that. how much of a routine you have or how organized you are, things are gonna come up, things are gonna happen. And the reality is they're only little ones and my priority is always going to be to take the best care of them. So whether I'm in the middle of shearing a sheep or tilling the garden or doing whatever I need to do, if the kids need something, I'm gonna have to stop. And it's easy to get frustrated with things not going as planned, but it can get done and it will get done and it's all gonna be okay. A big part of why I homestead or farm is because I want a great life for my kids. I want my kids to know where their food comes from. I want my kids to grow up in an environment that is full of fresh air and being outside with animals and growing their own vegetables. What's your favorite part, Chloe, about being a homestead farming kid? That we have sheep and I have a great mother. Oh, I didn't even pay her for that one. Did you, so you like working with the sheep? That's your favorite part, mm -hmm. being with the animals? Me too. I've always loved animals, so farming is an amazing opportunity for me to be able to work with animals and raise animals and have my kids be around it too. Another tip I have for successfully farming with your children is to give them jobs. The kids want to be participating in stuff, and instead of you trying to shoo them away and get stuff done your own way, which is going to be way easier and faster. Give them their own job. It might take longer. It might be a little bit more frustrating. You might have to take some time to explain a few times how to do something correctly, but giving them their own part of it is going to give them so much pride and excitement about what's going on, seeing the plants grow. And there's always jobs that little hands can do, whether it's spreading straw, whether it's planting seeds, whether it's shoveling, like you name it, filling buckets of water, watering things, even if it's not necessarily something that needs to be watered. Giving the kids a job is definitely an amazing opportunity for them to learn about how their food is growing and it gives them a sense of pride in having a part in what's going on. Chloe, what is your favorite job around the farm? Um, spending time with my mom and taking care of Rudy. Taking care of Rudy. Who's Rudy? My rabbit. Your rabbit. So the kids all have rabbits except for Eva. Um, it, obviously my 16 year old is able to take care of a lot of different things, but a rabbit or chickens are a great beginning animal for kids to be having responsibility for that are, you know, low maintenance, easy, right? And you love Rudy. What are you doing, Chloe? I'm making it flat and I'm patching up the, the low part. Good job. Michaela, what is your favorite part about being a farming kid? Um, probably... All the opportunities it's given me and the patience it's taught me patience because there's never any yelling in the barn well that's all part of the learning process <laughs> yes what Mommy. else what do you have to say about growing up on a farm would you rather have stayed in the city or are you glad you grew up on the farm no i think when we first moved out here i wasn't very happy about it and then when we actually started farming, I was pretty into it. Into it? Yeah. Yeah? You dug it? Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about growing up on a farm? Um, it's pretty average other than, you know, everything crazy that happens. Yeah, all the animals and everything. Yeah. All the midnight lamb, blow drying lambs. Oh yeah. yeah, all the goats getting out. And the... What is the most important life lesson you think you've learned from growing up on a farm? <laughs> um, to have faith. Have faith, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good one. Anything else? 
What's the hardest thing you learned from growing up on a farm? Oh. Things die a lot. Things I, that would be my answer. Die. Um, That's the hardest part, of, part about being a farming mom is that things die. Usually it's like the favorite or something that you thought was like totally phenomenal and then they die and you're just like, oh my gosh. You have to tell your kids this now because they're going to notice because it was their favorite, usually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's probably a big one. I think um, determination I get my is another one. Yeah, some things are really hard work, a lot of work, mm -hmm. more work than commitment and whatnot. Yeah, that's true. Good one. All right. Thanks, now we're going to talk about how we keep our kids from killing each other on the farm. <laughs> uh. Put lots of space between them. Give one a job over here and one a job over there. <laughs> yeah, currently this isn't enough space. No. So. Well, we can't be outside right now because there's like 30 mile an hour winds. And it's, it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Yeah. So outside videos are not going to happen right now. Not At least not ones where we hear anything. You guys are pretty good at working together. Yeah, usually when I get to like <laughs> yell demands and she she does it. Oh, the big sister mentality. Sometimes I do what she says. Sometimes you don't. It's all right. I'll keep you around. The peacocks are going crazy because there's some Canadian geese visiting the pond. I love their peacock sounds. So foggy here today. Peacocks! I wanted to do this collaboration with other homesteading moms because I wanted women to have an empowering message from all of us to just get out there and get started. It seems like a lot of work and it is a lot of work, but it's totally worth it. And your kids will grow up in such an amazing environment, learning about how things grow and taking care of animals. And there's nothing better. And honestly, I feel like I'm giving my kids an exceptional upbringing. It is a wonderful opportunity for them to learn about life and growing things and giving them skills that they will need in the future. They need to know how to grow their own food. They need to know how to raise their own animals. And it is an amazing way to raise them. Getting out there and getting started. Start small. If you don't like to grow vegetables, then grow flowers. If you don't want to grow things at all, then raise chickens. Like There's so many opportunities. You don't need to do things that are the in things to do. Just do things that you love. Do things that you want to do. You don't have to raise quail. You don't have to raise goats. I have sheep. I love the sheep. Sheep are not trendy. They are amazing animals to live with. And it is just like there's so many opportunities to, to raise your own animals, raise your own fiber, raise your own vegetables. And you don't have to do it on a huge scale. You don't have to do all of it all at once. You can just get started and have your kids learn with you. Like show them that no matter how old you are, you're not too old to learn a new, you know, skill and that you're going to be learning along with them and teaching them how to do it. It's an amazing opportunity. So I just want women to feel like it's not too much of a hassle. It's totally worth it and you can do it. If I do it, you totally can do it. I have been like the brown thumb mama for so long and I'm still trying to grow vegetables. I just keep switching it up and doing different things and having my kids help me and learning that not every method is the right way to go, but we're trying our best. So I hope that these videos have inspired you to get out there and try, even if it's just a little bit, even if it's just on your patio, try to grow some food, try to have your kids participate in it. It is so rewarding and just embrace the hiccups that come along with it. Let the kids get their hands dirty and I hope you feel like you can do it because like I said, if I can do it, you can do it. I've now moved to a 40 head sheep farm. This is a business for me. I have a felting business on top of the farm and it's totally manageable. It's all about 
developing you know a system and asking for help when you need it and doing things when the kids sleep it's all good so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't already make sure that you click the subscribe button down below and please check out all the videos in the playlist there are some amazing women participating in this collab and i cannot wait to see all their videos too have a great rest of your day guys